Stop me if you've heard this one. Here's your look at the QMX, the QFig Max of the Batman Who Laughs. The Batman Who Laughs QFig Max Elite stands tall among the other Batman collectibles. At approximately 6 inches high, this QFig's commanding presence will take center stage in any collection, featuring the Batman Who Laughs and three rabid Robins. The nefarious foursome are surrounded by Joker's unmistakable laughter and this Batman's weapon of choice, a deadly metal chain. Batman's horrifying metal crown empowers him with the ability to discover the fears of his victims, resting just above the gleeful grin once belonging to the Clown Prince of Crime. Now, who doesn't think laughter is the best form of medicine? Before we get a closer look at the Q-Fig Max of the Batman Who Laughs, obviously the first thing we're going to want to do is figure out how tall it actually stands. So I'm going to take the tape measure, not to the point of where his head is, but go a little bit further than that, because after all, he has a ha above his head. A ha above his head. I'm going to stop the tape measure right, right there. And if reading this correctly, the Q-Fig Max of the Batman Who Laughs is about 7.5 inches in height, 7.4 inches to be exact. We can switch that over to centimeters, and the Batman Who Laughs Q-Fig is 19 centimeters exactly. Now I'd like to thank the folks over at QMEX who kindly provided the Batman Who Laughs QFig Max Elite that we could have a look at in this review. I think this is an upcoming release, as I'll provide the link down below to QMEX's website. It is currently showing as a coming soon, with the price point of being $49.95. With that being said, let's get a closer look at the QFig. Picking it up very carefully, because there's certainly a lot to examine. Why don't we start first with the base, and maybe we'll work our way up. The base itself is pretty simple and straightforward. You can see two halves of a black circle are sandwiched together with a line of blue dividing in between. Not only is the blue, careful not to drop it, not only is the line of blue painted in there, but it's also recessed. As you can see, I follow my finger along the little canal here. Tipping the statue up, you can see revealed underneath is the Batman Who Laughs Q-Fig Max Elite. They're Max Elite because they're larger in size than their conventional Q-Fig releases. Down below that, you've got the Batman Who Laughs. Down below that, you've got QMX's website, which is www.qmxonline.com. The Q-Fig depicts the Batman Who Laughs taking his trio of sinister sidekicks for a stroll. Uh, that's, that's a lot of S's. You can see that all three of the Robins are differently posed. First of all, I really appreciate that. While the face sculpts don't seem too different from one another, and I'm not disappointed that they're very similar either, there's slight nuances from one face to the next. You'll see that the sizing of squinting in the eyes do differ from one Robin to the one next to it. And also the hairstyle is a little bit different too, so it doesn't feel again like we're looking at the same Robin times three. The poses again are very different from one another. This one looks like it wants to go for a run. This one looks like it's being held back, but would rather rip into something or someone. I also want to cautiously bring your attention to this particular Robin. This is the Robin you would want to worry about the most, because as you'll see, the chain is a separate piece. It's not firmly held back by the grips of the Batman who laughs. I like this little touch here, the fact that not all three of them are shackled back by the Batman who laughs. Again, it brings a little bit something different to the table. And again, all the three Robins have some real energy going for them. The paint on them is really quite good, as you can see up close and personal here. Perhaps if I could add a little bit of critique, one thing I certainly would have loved to see on all three of the Robins' faces. No, not the smile. The smile, they've done certainly a good job of that. But just a little bit of slime. Just a little bit of parsley next to your main course. Just a little bit of slime trickling down from each one of the mouths, I think would have been a, certainly a nice touch. This particular statue especially shows very well from the side. It's then the opportunity where you can see the three Robins in their three different poses. And boy, does that ever look great. While still speaking of sprinklings, no, we're not talking about parsley anymore, but sprinkled across this Q-Fig, you'll see there's different shaped and sized versions of Ha, H, A. Of course, enough of them put together, it looks like there's the Clown Prince of Crime laughing. I do appreciate the fact that there's some smaller than others, like this little tiny Ha that's just underneath the one Robin's leg. They're all painted in the same color, it kind of looks like cherry taffy, and it's everywhere. 
not across just the base, but no, as you spin the statue around, you'll see there's Haas everywhere. It's like some sinister Sesame Street. It's even on the sides of the Batman who laughs and also on his shoulders and also along the top there as well. As you see it, certainly from the front, again, the Haas really brings something a little bit more to the table. That's the thing I really like about the Q-Figs, not only the poses, but the energy that they bring to the table. These little Haas, I think, go a long way. Maybe perhaps they didn't necessarily need the ha right at the very top and they could have just gone with the ha with the rest of it. But, you know, I think one thing that works well to it is that the ha's kind of outline the shape of the characters, not just the Batman who laughs, but the three Robins that are around him as well. Getting up close, personal and painful. Ouch. Let's get a closer look now at the Batman who laughs. Of course, he does have this trademark ring of spikes that fit over top of his eyes, so you're unable to see that. But there's still a lot of other details that you and your own eyes can actually take in. Like, for example, the tight areas of wrinkles on the tops of his cowl, where this would have been forcibly fit over top of his face. I do appreciate the fact that they added those little wrinkles on the top of it. It does look realistic, as realistic as it could be for the Batman who laughs. I also like this little scratch that they put on the top there, a little X on top of his fabric. Of course, the use of dark gunmetal gray is really well appreciated here. And up close and personal, hopefully you guys can also see these little imperfections that are done to what would have been metal, of course, in the comics. Here done in plastic, it still has a lot of these little scratches, imperfections. And in some cases, as you'll see here, hopefully on the side, there's little welded areas as if he's hand forged this crown himself. Of course, as you look a little bit further past the crown, you've got yourself the big visible mouth open mouth with slimy looking sets of teeth and an equally slimy looking tongue sticking out. I may have thrown a few other slime trail trails in there as well, little streams of slime coming out from his mouth. There he goes talking about slime again. Whenever I think the Batman who laughs and of course the Robins that come along with him, I always think of them just slime across their faces. It doesn't necessarily detract the fact that this one doesn't have it. It's just something I would have really liked to see on top of this, especially in his face. And like I said, the faces for the three Robins we looked at before. Paint on this guy is really good, though he's more of the darker colors, more the bright, vibrant colors are why we get to the Robin that we looked at earlier. His outfit, of course, has the longer tailed kind of bondage looking jacket. As you can see, there's some straps there painted nicely in that same gunmetal gray. I like that they were selective with the gunmetal gray and didn't feel the need to put it everywhere. It's where it needs to be. It needs to be, of course, the ring of spikes. It needs to be right here. But the chain, at least, is a different use of gray, a lighter version of gray, so that you're not getting all the same color across the entire board of this. It's a nice-looking piece, certainly, when you have it on display. And, you know, I feel like this is one of those Q-figs that look good from different angles. Um, when you see it straight on, of course, you can see the Batman who laughs, who's holding the chains in his hand of the Robins this way. But, you know, I would almost be considered to display it this way, having it slightly sideways. Because, again, they still spiraled the Haas all the way around it. It's not the case where you have to see it from a certain standpoint. Like, it only looks good this way. I think it looks good, really, not all the way around, but at least it's finished all the way around. I do really like the fact that they added all these Haas. I think when it comes to certainly displaying it, I'm probably going to have it slightly more on an angle so I can see the three different tiers of Robins and their three different poses and their three different planned attacks as the Batman who laughs tries to hold them back. When you take a really fun character like the Batman who laughs and then you mix it along with the stylized appeal of the Q-Figs, you've got yourself quite the nice looking showpiece that can go on a shelf, on a desk, or someplace where you have smaller quarters. One of the benefits of the Q-Figs that I probably mentioned quite frequently when we have a look at these, is that the stylized look of them and the slightly smaller proportions, they fit really well in places where you don't have a lot of space. Some would consider these to be a hard pass because they just don't like the stylized look of the characters. But if you're kind of into the idea of the more cutier, cutesier looking characters, Batman who laughs along with those Robins work really well. And going back to the idea of taking up a little less space, this specific one is a Q-Fic Max Elite. Basically, what that means is that Quantum Mechanics is taking your standard-sized Q-Fig and sort of doubling it up. Whether it be width-wise or height-wise, this one ends up being just a little bit taller than a regular Q-Fig, almost by another half. This allows then the opportunity to bring in the three Robins. I mean, really, the Batman Who Laughs could have been easily released just a regular Q-Fig with maybe just a chain in his hand. But I gotta say, the look of it looks so much nicer when you bring the three Robins in there as well. 
And of course, you've got the ha's everywhere. Ha ha ha. It starts at the bottom of the base and sort of works to the very top of his head. I thought maybe that the ha on the top of his head took a little bit away from the sculpting of the of this particular Q fig. But then when you're seeing it from the front, and I think that's the most crucial thing, at least from the ha standpoint of things, it kind of looks like he's outlined, you know, kind of like he's framed in. And for that reason, because it kind of reminds me of something I would expect to see on a comic cover, I think it actually I'm a little bit more receptive to the idea that they put the ha just right on top of his head. The colors are vibrant. All the Robins have their own unique poses going for him. Batman Who Laughs as a Q-Fig Max Elite definitely works really, really well as a display piece. A big thank you to the folks over at Quantum Mechanics that provided the Batman Who Laughs Q-Fig Max Elite that we could have a look at in this review. As far as I know, it's not released just yet. In fact, if you head on over to QMX's website, which I'll provide the link down below in the video description, currently it shows us coming soon. So it's going to be released at some point for a price point of $49.95. For what you're getting and the fact that you're essentially getting four characters instead of the one character that you normally get on a Q-Fig release, I think this is definitely a figure that you would want to be picking up, especially if you're a big fan of the Batman Who Laughs. Like this guy behind the camera is a big fan of the Batman Who Laughs, just with slime all over his face. It's nowhere on the Q-Fig, but just slime everywhere. If you guys are new to this channel and enjoying all the content you're seeing, we want to move away from talking about slime for a second. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, turn the bell notification on, and then, yes, you're coming back to this channel on a regular basis. Not only are we going to be looking at more quantum mechanic releases, but we're also going to be looking at other collectibles as well. So make sure you keep your peepers peeled to this channel. And as always, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.